What up, people? We're back in Anime Last Den, and we're going to see if Rimuru could beat, uh, go to a higher wave than Sukuna. Basically, Sukuna was able to beat uh, the boss that spawns at 105, and uh, we're going to see if uh, Rimuru could go past that. Uh, we were using Escanor in first place when we tested, so we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to change Rimuru's skill tree. We're going to go with uh, damage skill tree. Because that's what we did for the other characters, so we're going to do the same thing. I do prefer the crit skill tree with the, the range. But we're going to do what we do. Because we did uh, what we did. <laughs> we go on water. Boom. And yeah, we're just basically going to put them in the same position as the other units. We always put them on water. I find water is the best way to uh, test it. It has a, they have quite a bit of a path to walk. This gives them enough time. All right, we'll see. We're going to place this unit here though. For now, we're just going to farm a little. And uh, when we have $10 trillion, I'll be back. All right, so we have money. So yeah, the way this test worked is uh, I would just like to see how far they could go in Nightmare on this place. They don't have any advantage here because uh, there's no modifier with elements. So we're going to see what's up. Basically, uh, I think Rimuru is going to do well in this challenge. He's fully AoE at the end. And his range is not bad for a uh, damage tree. Obviously, we're going to switch it back after this test. We're not going to use his power. We didn't do that with Sukuna. I do believe Sukuna's power is a lot stronger than Remaru's. I think it was like 5 billion. And Sukuna's like 10 billion. But his is cheaper. It's only 200k to get to that damage. Yeah, look at that. That's some good AoE, yo. Okay, so basically uh, he has to beat the 110 boss to beat Sukuna. The boss who spawns at 110, he has to destroy him. If he doesn't destroy him, then he's basically just as strong as Sukuna. If we're not using uh, the Armageddon thing. All right, I'll be back when uh, we're around wave like 95, something like that. Okay, so we're at uh, wave 99, and uh, yeah, still taking down enemies, but they're starting to put up a little resistance. So he's a really good unit for sure. Wait, did he become cheaper? Oh no, I made him cheaper, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. But... Uh, Hopefully they come out with um, something good for him, you know, a good uh, soul for him. I don't know which one I'd put. I have Escanor with the mini damage one. I have him with the bleed one. I'm not sure what, which one I'd put for him. Maybe range? The... Gojo, uh, not the, the Gojo one, or, uh, the Fused Warrior one. All right, so this is the boss. He has to destroy 105. If he doesn't pass this, then he doesn't do more damage per second than Sukuna. Confirmed. 
Ooh, he's doing quite a bit. By the looks of this, he's not taking down the, the 110 boss. The 110 boss has like uh, 5 billion health. Actually. Never mind. Maybe you might take it down. Just missed him. Wow, he's not able to take him down, but so close. I think that was a lot closer than Sukuna. I'm going to give him the dub. You could use his ability too. Wow, he amazing. No, but yeah, he's pretty good. I think he did better than Sukuna, I would say. And he's fully AoE too. So he's pretty good. He does the taunt as well. But yeah, that's about it, yeah. Pretty uh, simple video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Next uh, Heavenly is going to be Dio, I think. Or uh, Godly is going to be Dio. So we're going to check him out. We're going to save rerolls for that. And hopefully we get glitch on uh, him too. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Peace.